Look at this guy. This guy is tearing up my Evo over here. What are you doing? What is going on, guys? Another day here. I know it's been a little bit. I've been working, working hard, waiting for this stuff to come in. But we got our racing harness in. Our racing harness, because I only ordered one for now. But check it out. Woo! Race quick, baby. So we got this harness in. We did get... I had two options. I could have got the one that had the funky latch, but I got this one that's like a quick release. Never used it yet. I still gotta open it all. But really nice packaged. Really good. It's a five point. It's got both the shoulder straps and then the sides and then the crotch holder, as I call it. But let me lay all this out and then we can take a better look at it, see what we got going on. I'm gonna open this up, see how it looks, how it the mechanism works. Oh, I kind of tell. Okay, okay, okay. Real nice. So yeah, let me let me undo all this stuff, lay it all out. I'm gonna move the car outside a little bit because it's kind of tight over here with that motor sitting there, right there. So I'm gonna move the car out, and then we'll revisit the belts, and then install it on the Kirky racing seats. And finally, finally, guys, we're gonna be able to go to the track because. I won't have to worry about the seat belt being expired and getting kicked out for that. My battery is nice and tight, so they won't bother me about a loose battery. Um, what else? That's it, really. Just tires, but we can do a couple track passes and then get some tires and then go back. So let's do that real quick. Get to installing, test fit it, and hopefully it fits nice. All right, so here's what we have. So I've laid out the seat belt equipment harness, whatever you want to call it, the harness equipment. So this is a five point, how do you know? You got one, two, three, four, five, five points, right? The one that's currently on the vehicle, which I'm gonna show you in a little bit, instead of having two separate shoulder straps, it actually has one which loops around the back and then attaches on the other side of your shoulder. Let me show you, so you know what I'm talking about. Like this. So this is a Simpson, super expired. Same concept as far as the quick release, but it wraps around. Do so you see back there? It actually wraps. Oh, can you see? Oh, you can't see. All right, here we go. So it wraps around the pole here, then goes back to the other side of your shoulder. This one's different. Hey, get away from my harness. Go, go, go play. Go, 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 bye. God, go, go, go play, go play. All right, so back to this. So this one's different. This one's individual, which is awesome, All right? It's individual, but now the problem we're gonna have is we gotta mount it a little different than how that one is mounted at the moment. Now luckily, did this, this harness did come with instructions. And what we're gonna be doing is this. For the shoulder strap, we're gonna be following this method here, which is to attach it to a roll cage instead of having like the hardware, which has it at the moment, which is right here. Instead of having this bolted down on the roll cage, we're actually gonna take this part out and then wrap it a certain way according to the instructions back to itself and that will keep it secure on the actual roll bar. That way you don't gotta worry about it coming loose. But you gotta make sure you do it right because if you don't do it right, then it can probably come loose on you over time. So what we're gonna be doing first we're gonna take out the one that's currently in the car. Now I might use that as my passenger harness or I might just go buy another one of these. Who knows, we'll see. These were like 160 bucks, 170 bucks I wanna say because of the quick release feature, this here. Um, they do have another one that looks a lot bulkier, which I think it's actually on this paper. Yeah, so the one that has this style here, I don't know if you can see it. That. But the one that comes with this style of latch system, it's way cheaper, guys. You can get two of them 
So if you want to do both the driver and the passenger at the same time, you can get two of those. I think it was 150 for the set. So the price of this, you can get two of those for 150. So, but it all depends on what you want to do as far as this go. This, this is a lot easier to remove. You know, you just turn this and you're done. The other one requires a little more work, so. Um, I'm sure it's still easy, but hey, I'd rather have this. I'm used to this style, so we're gonna keep this style. But now, let's go unbolt the one that's currently on there, and we'll go ahead and uh, put this new one in, test fit it, get it to the right size, and make sure that it works for us, guys. All right, so real quick, I hope you can see me. So, taking a look at what they did over here. So, they used the uh, factory old seat track bolts on the back. So those will be easy to remove. Those are probably like 13s or 12, I gotta still see it. Um, back here is just a simple feed it and then bring it back out. And then over here, that's a different kind of bolt. A little weird the way they did it. It looks like it's like an eye bolt of some sort. It's probably got a nut in the bottom. But we're gonna see what we're gonna do with this one. If we still have to use the uh, hard way that it came with or maybe run something similar to what they did here with this strap i don't know but we'll figure it out this one's a little different though this one has the uh, quick release as you can see it's on the actual uh the crotch harness i call it um the one that we got has it on the one of the lap the lap belts so i don't know so same concept so we'll see um yeah so i'm gonna take this out real quick and if you didn't know, Kirky aluminum racing seat, and it's got the little seat pad, the padding cushion, and it's on both. So, nice, not too bad. I've driven around on these on the street a little bit, and they really don't feel that bad. They're pretty good. They have cushions on them. I don't know if you can tell right there, but it has a cushion, um, real thin cushion on the back. There's nothing up here, but on your sides where it matters, you have a little cushion so it feels pretty comfortable when you're driving the car so it's not too bad so if you're in, anybody looking for some nice racing seats lightweight i recommend these kirky ones and get the padding just get the padding man it's a couple hundred bucks more but it feels a lot better than just sitting on aluminum and it looks good it actually looks like you have seats in the car if you're looking at it from the front you know it doesn't look like What's that piece of metal in that car? You know, it looks like a seat because it's fabric. So, I recommend it, you guys. All right, let's get these belts off. Man, this is also the part where I feel like if you own power tools, it would just be cakewalk for everybody. This guy, eh, I'll do it all by hand, don't worry. God damn it. But yeah, I was saying, you know, 10 millimeter, you always get those memes. Oh, can't find my 10 millimeter. Yada, yada. You know, these were super loose too. It's crazy. But yeah, I can't find my 10 millimeter. Yeah, not this guy here. This guy, you know which one he can't find? My freaking, my freaking 13s. Like all my 13s are gone. I don't know what the hell did I do with my 13th, but all oh, my sockets, done. T, what are you doing? Lay down. Lay down. But now I'm going to pull this back. Oh, there goes the entire freaking center console. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. All right. One, put the car keys over here. We got two. Perfect. Good. All right. Put this here. All right. So I loosen the strap a little bit just so that I can mount it like this on the floor. Power wire in the way, but I can mount it like that, and then I wear it. Make 
should be golden like this. Because then the strap won't really bind with anything. You know? I think we'll be good like that. We'll send it. We'll send it, guys. We'll send it. I need to get bolts for this one for the other side because looks like they don't have the bolts went missing on the back here. Alright. Tight tight. Now the, the tricky part starts. I'm gonna feed this side. Let me show you guys. All right, so we got the uh, we got the two bottom ones done. I used, like I said, the hardware from the original C whoa. From the original C track that was here. Um, it's two 15 millimeter bolts that go on that hold the back there. So I used those. Just fed it nice and flat. That way it's not twisting or binding. Gave it a little bit of extra slack. Um, now I'm gonna do the top here on the back of the seat. That's where we're gonna have to wrap it around this bar here and remove the uh, kind of like that bolt hook thing that it has for the floor here. Um, take that out and just bolt it. We'll wrap it around the bar and that will take care of our shoulder straps and then we still need to do the, uh, the crotch strap. All right, I'm trying to read some of the instructions just to make sure that I do it right and I don't do it wrong, but we'll see. I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna take this out here. already coming apart. Oh man, what's going on? Race grip. What's this? Come on now. Make good money for these things. What kind of banger in is this? Alright. We gotta get this out, remember guys. We don't need those. That goes down. Okay. Goes away. Okay. This is no more. I have to get a little bit of slack to make up for the roll bar. Yeah, a little slack. It's a pretty big strap, so we don't have to worry about using too much back here. I would try to keep it. As light as possible, though. We would have to go here. Alright. Feed this. Like so. Feed that. Sure, it's not. And then I would assume feed this back this way so it locks it. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. I got you now. Yeah. Yeah.
I'm tall, so my strap is actually gonna go upwards. And that's good there. I don't know if you feel that guy, guys, if you feel that's wrong, if you feel I'm putting it wrong, let me know. Show me a video or something and I'll, pretty sure it's right, but I've seen a couple of videos already. And I've seen a couple of different ways of people doing it, but I don't know, I feel like this is how they have it when they use the this kind of hardware. So I'm just gonna do the same thing, but without the hardware, you know? All right, we bring you this message real quick, kind of stepping in. As you're doing this part of the harness, I wanna make sure so you're not doing this back part here twice because it's a pain in the butt. Make sure the race quip logo is pretty much around your shoulder, like, chest area because what you're gonna find is that from this point here where the loop is to that mounting point back there this part of the harness doesn't adjust because only this part of the harness here this part that loops here in the front is what's going to uh, basically give you your adjustment as far as how tight you want the harness to be when you sit down. So just keep that in mind. Race quip logos, shoulder, chest area, right? It might have been in the instructions. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't read that far into it. I just read how to loop the back. That's about it. The rest you can pretty much figure out. But as far as the lap stub, the lap stub is good. I already tested that out. I tested this out. I'm gonna get in here now and show you guys all right, we're getting in the car. We're getting in the car. We're getting in the car. Woo! <laughs> if you saw that video, you might get a giggle. But all right, we're getting in here. Oi, oi! All right. Woo! Okay, guys. So I'm sitting down. We're good here. So the first thing I got to do. Do my right shoulder, right? Do my left shoulder. Oh, I think I screwed myself in this deal. Yeah, what do you guys think? Should we adjust this so that the brand is more on this, on your chest? Or can we leave it here going over your shoulder? I don't know, tell me what you think, man. Write it in the comments. I kind of want the brand to be down here so you can kind of see it. Not that it really matters, but hey, a little ricer in me wants, you know, you know, I pay some good money for this thing. I want to be, I want people to know, know what's up. But yeah, I'm going to adjust this. It's not too bad. We got the quick lash. Latch. So we got the quick latch system here, which is nice and easy. You just turn it, and it releases everything. Now right, let's go. We got this lap here. Let's see if I can do it one-handed. I don't think I can, but let's see. Let's see. Okay, that one. I had these on already, so I think. I didn't loosen them. Okay, there we go. Okay. One handy, boys. Oh! Okay. 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 Excellent. I can use my teeth. Come on. I got it. Woo! All right, fully latch. I think you pull this up. Hold on. Hold on. I can't do this and hold on. Put you 
guys in my pod. Can you see me? Alright. Pull up. Down. Oh! That is tight. Pull up. Down. Ah, damn, I feel like I can't even move. Perfect. It's doing its job. All right, guys. I'm strapped. Stop. <gasps> I think we're good here, guys. Definitely recommend it if you want to buy it. And here's here's the best part. You ready? Uh, can't get you guys. Can't get you guys. Oh shit. All right. Say you're unconscious. For whatever reason, you can't get to your last. Someone comes next to you. All they got to do is ready. Oh, you're done. That's it. Done. Definitely worth it. Worth the extra money. That's it. Get the hell out of the car. Good to go. This concludes the uh, harness install here. The safety harness install, which means we're now good to go for the track. We're ready, man. We got the harness. It was one of the biggest things we were missing because obviously they're not going to want you to be at the track if you're... Uh, Safety gears expire, so we took care of that. Uh, next is, I'm probably not gonna run these big rims. These are 18s, I believe. Yep, 18s. I do have a set of skinnies that I got a while ago, which I'm gonna see about getting tires for it. And then we'll use that as our track wheel skinny for this car or I might just run the uh, the slips from the daily since I don't really use that car anymore but I might use those as the back tires decisions decisions but stay tuned for that guys I hope you like this video make sure you like make sure you subscribe to the channel we're getting very close to a thousand subscribers guys thank you very much for all of you who have uh, subscribed and watched these videos often thank you very much basically trying to push myself to get these cars done as you know I got the I got the Evo I got the Evo I got the SRTs over there you know just pushing myself you know the more the more interest I see in the videos the more it makes me wanna make sure that I come out here and record something for you guys um, and I'm pretty sure if you didn't know and you are this far into the video I hope you know we do have hey what are you doing get out this is you know this is this is the project this is the serious evil project, which we're not even going to get into this one right now because that one needs. That car really needs, you know, Jesus needs somebody. So, but I don't know anymore. But yeah, man, stay tuned, man. We're going to have some fun. Make sure you subscribe, share the videos, get people involved in here. I'd love to hear your comments. If I can answer, I'll answer. If I can help, you got questions, just put them in the comments, guys. I'd, I'd love to answer any questions you guys have. Stay tuned for some racing, man. I hope this car can go 11s on the first pass. Not first pass, but that first time out. Like I'm really hoping for some decent 11s. And then if we can get into the 11s, We'll start figuring out what to do to the car to get it to like a low, low 11 mark. Maybe high 10s. Who knows? We'll see. It's going to take a while. It's not going to be easy, man. It's not going to be easy. I don't plan. I don't want to cut up the car. I don't want to do any of that crazy stuff. And I have the roll cage because you just never know. I'd rather just have it. Um, and it came with the car, so I'm not going to take it out. But we'll see. Getting close, guys. Getting close, guys. And the trailer's over there in the corner. That thing's ready to go soon, so. We're just, we're just about ready. We're just about ready. I can't wait. Stay tuned.
Peace out.